what I'm talking about. Wait. Okay, now, from the beginning. Hit it, boys. The Fiat 500 for many years was considered to be Italy's answer to the Mini, and like that great British favourite, the Italian manufacturer decided to give it a makeover in 2008, much to the delight of many younger females up and down the country. Now, in 2021, we've moved with the times to the 500e. It's all electric, a lot bulkier, but it's still managed to retain a style and design that will appeal to a large section of the car buying public, both male and female, who want to zip over to their friend's house, nip into town or head out on the road to have some fun. The 500e comes in four options, the Action, Passion, Icon and finally La Prima. The introductory level Action gets 15 inch alloys, while the Passion adds the infotainment system and LED running lights. The Icon trim sees 16 inch alloy wheels, as well as a bigger infotainment screen. Finally, this car is La Prima, with the added bonus of 17 inch wheels and a sunroof. Although saying it's just a sunroof is doing it a bit of a disservice, it actually has three opening settings, and when it's all the way back like that it's very similar to a full soft top. The LED lights blend beautifully into the curves of the car. The front has a lower base grille vent covering the batteries and on the side the indicators pop out left and right. The chrome along the frame delivers a cool slick finish and the wheels at 17 inches give this car a really sporty feel. On the door, don't look for any handles. This has a button door entry system. The car's computer reacts to the close proximity of your keys and one push lets you inside. The dashboard continues the classy and clear lines of the exterior and the first thing that you notice when you get in is that there's no gear stick. Instead we've got these buttons on the dashboard for park, reverse, neutral and drive. That takes a little bit of getting used to though. The steering wheel continues to have that sporty feel of this model. The all digital display gives you a trio of drive modes as well. You've got normal range and Sherpa. Each setting selects a different level of power saving to get most out of the Fiat 500e's electric range. There's cruise control as well and a reverse parking camera in HD so it's mega sharp. The infotainment system comes in various sizes of touchscreen depending on the model that you've chosen and there are more than enough charging points for your phone and added cup holders for safe driving. The finish inside the car is great and the headroom in the front is also more than ample. However, it is going to be a bit of a push if you've got you, your partner and say a couple of small children in the back. Getting into the back is tight, especially if you're an adult. But now to the most important question. What about the performance? The 500e comes with a couple of battery options. The 24 kilowatt battery has a realistic range of about 100 miles. Remember, you greatly reduce the range though with your air cooling system and the speed that you're traveling at. That's why it's ideal for in and out of town, maybe a school run or slightly longer planned journeys where you know there are charging points on the way. If you're running low on range, you can stop at a fast charging point for only 10 minutes and that will add an extra 30 miles to your range. If you've got a spare half hour, you can recharge the battery back to 80% of the range. That's not bad, is it? The 42 kilowatt battery will get you moving from 0 to 60 in around 10 seconds and the range for that battery is around 150 miles, taking into consideration once again your style of driving. On the motorway, there's also a number of safety features to keep you in lane and a safe distance from the car in front if you want to hit that cruise control switch. If I'm honest, if you want to get the best out of this car, it's undoubtedly at its best like this, nipping in and out of town, looking sharp, quick and easy to park in tight spaces and with the roof down as well on a day like today, it's unbeatable.
if you're going on a longer journey, let's say a romantic weekend away, you're going to have to be very good at packing. As you can see, the luggage space is limited to say the least at 185 litre capacity, but you'll get 550 litres if you fold the back seats down. The 500e will greatly reduce your costs, whether you're charging at home or on the move in town or around the country. The price tag ranges from around 20,000 all the way up to 30,000 for the top of the range model. This car has style, speed, and is economical. It might be your first choice, or if you're a two-car family, the perfect solution for the short trips. Whatever you decide, you won't be short on fun when you get behind the wheel of the Fiat 500e. Ciao.